Hey folks, bonus video for you this weekend, flying that other Warplane game, <laughs> War Thunder. A few of you have requested videos on this, and I uh, wanted to do it. I do play War Thunder occasionally as well. However, I could not get OBS to record without stuttering, uh, which was really frustrating, and uh, thankfully I found a way to get around that now, uh, recording it with a different recorder natively, but uh, also just kind of picked a replay to show you guys when I do these, for the most part, I will not do realistic battles. Um, they're slow. They're boring. <laughs> they, don't, they don't work very well um, for me in terms of, like, commentary and just, just excitement without doing a lot of editing, which is not something I'm willing to take the time to do. So mostly I play arcade anyway. I tend to do better in arcade mode as it is with the research points and the silver as well. So this is what you've got here, and I've got a Yak-9 here. This lineup actually is one of my favorites. It's one of the reasons I started playing War Thunder in the first place, actually. I was not pleased with the way that, um, you know, Warplanes handled the Yak-9 line uh, when they turned them into snipers. Yeah, it just wasn't really my play style um, and something I struggled with. So I came over here to play them in a more realistic form and uh, have certainly enjoyed that uh, over the years, as they are some of my favorites. Um, you know, I joked a long time ago, one of my first videos about, you know, the Yak-3T being better than the P61. It's not, obviously, but I do really enjoy the Yak-3T, despite it being underpowered. Uh, so here, I thought it would be fun to try and take out this uh, giant boat. Any of you who've played War Thunder know the meme plane that this uh, BD-238 is. Um, and uh, I do have, you know, fairly large cannon on this, so... It's a chance to do it. And right here, I got super excited. I thought I knocked out an engine, thought I might have a wing in half. And so I kept after it. I thought, oh, this is going to be easy. And then I realized, oh, no, I've knocked off of a, a, a flap, it looks like there, maybe. Uh, and of course, War Thunder using, you know, realistic or more realistic damage models. So now I'm in trouble. Uh, and I'm like, okay, maybe I can catch the, I'm up close anyway, right? Maybe I can catch the other one on fire. And uh, unfortunately, I just knock out the other other flap so this guy's gonna have a hard time flying but he's nowhere near dead and then right there i take uh, a final hit unfortunately i think it got my pilot and a few other things as well even if it hadn't gotten my pilot uh, it certainly set me on fire as well so not an auspicious opening to the match but trust me it does get better from here so <laughs> So one of the things I do like about uh, arcade mode for War Thunder is the ability to respawn in with a couple of different planes in the lineup. And I'll try to take you through those as I'm flying them. Um, so after the Yak-9, I switched over to the Yak-3 with its Normandy Neiman camouflage, one of my favorites. Um, you know, one of the real reasons I actually like this plane is the story of the Normandy Neiman squadron. If you don't know, look them up. It's fascinating uh, French squadron that operated under uh, Soviet uh, auspices during World War II and uh, did very, very well and phenomenal paint scheme on their plane there as well. So uh, I'm a sucker for punishment, so I thought I would get back up high again and see if I could work on these guys. Um, you know, even in arcade mode, uh, there is, um, you know, something fun and, and fairly realistic about uh, War Thunder. And so I decide we're going to go after that BVP again. And believe it or not, although it doesn't look like it, I did actually get the kill for that. So you can see down there at the bottom, the kill marker pop up uh, next to my death marker from earlier. And uh, checking the chat feed, you can actually see that in fact, I did get credit for the kill. So uh, feel good about that. <laughs> um, I guess maybe the previous damage, I don't know, whatever it was, I ended up getting the kill for it. So that will be the first of seven kills in this video. So having done that, I'm going along. One of the things about arcade mode is that it does tend to swing back and forth, and you have to be careful of getting into fur balls like the one below me. You can get outnumbered very quickly, and so even more so than other games, um, you know, like Warplanes, you need to stay up high. You need to gauge, you know, how you're getting involved in things here, and you can see checking the map, right? I've got a wave of red coming, so I want to draw them up to me if at all possible. I also want to support the guy underneath me. But I can't get too deep in this. If I get buried too deep in this, um, it just ends up going badly for me. And that's sort of the, the balance game you have to play in uh, War Thunder's arcade mode because, well, even a realistic mode as well, you have to strike a balance between, you know, going into battle with advantages like altitude and speed and not being too passive because if you're too passive, the game gets away from you. 
So the B-25 tries to go underneath me. I just want to take one pass at him, and uh, you'll see actually he goes down later from the damage that I do. But I don't want to follow him down. I am interested in keeping the battle active and helping out my teammates, whittling away some of these numbers. And so you can see here, I'm diving on that front line, and there goes number two. And then I'm going to do this key 44, but unfortunately I completely misjudged it. So I'm a little rusty, uh, obviously, as you can tell, uh, just plowing right into them. And unfortunately, when you plow into planes like that, it counts as a double crash. Nobody gets credit for a kill, which you know might be something to add into war planes at some point, uh, as opposed to giving those kills. But you can see here in the feed that uh, I crashed and he crashed as well, right? We just crashed. So nobody gets any credit for anything. So my third plane out uh, in arcade mode here is going to be the I-185 with the M82 engine. Uh, the M82 is in one of the Yaks um, at Tier 5 on warplanes. Uh, here it's powering the I-185, which is a great air, airplane. Um, has some solid cannons on it, really good flight profile, and uh, really is kind of a jack-of-all-trades at this tier, which I enjoy. So we're flying him out next, and I'm going to try and look for, again, you know, taking out some red, but without getting too deep into a place where I am outnumbered and don't feel like I can really, you know, positively contribute uh, to the battle. And you can see there, uh, I shot down the B-25. I got credit for it. I think he was trying to bomb those, and because of the damage I had done to him, he uh, could not pull up in time, and it gave me credit. Uh, and so that was nice. So we're up to three kills. I'm going to dive on this P-51, or at least I was, and then I see this juicy SB-2C coming in and uh, I decided to go for him first. Probably in hindsight should have stuck with the P-51, uh, but this was an easy kill, or at least I thought it was going to be an easy kill. Um, at this point in the live game, although it's showing dead here, you know, when I was playing it live, he was not dead yet. I think it was just severe damage, and so I wanted to make sure I put in a couple of a uh, couple of more shots just in case, and also wanted to clear some space from that P-51. And you can see my assigned uh, teammate or squad mate for this battle uh, which War Thunder does, assigns you a squad mate and then gives you bonuses for playing with that squad mate, uh, has my back. And this was fortunate. Random battles don't always have this, but this guy and I did a good job of kind of sticking closer together and, and in some cases working together in this match. And that puts me up 4-2 uh, to two with a 2-D1 KDR. We're going to dive on this F6, but again, a little rusty, especially on the 185 and I just whiff it. But fortunately, my buddy in the Spitfire has the angle much better. And then we're gonna cross up, and I'm gonna fire one burst into his cockpit. Um, but uh, I didn't quite get him. I don't know if this one counted or not. Was this one of the seven? Uh, yes, it was. I think I got, the, I got the final hit there, the severe damage that put him down. So, fortunate although I guess you could think of it as stealing from my teammate but in the moment we were just trying to put him down and I honestly thought my teammate had him I was just trying to get a little extra points and and credits and uh, research for it so we're going to go back up because I see another bomber coming in and I feel like that's uh, easy to deal with and uh, the ground battle or the low altitude battle has started to shift there you see we outnumber them actually five to two right there it's five to one right and we have this new wave coming in I'm nervous to tank with all of them, even with a teammate here. So we're just going to gain some altitude. I'm going to drag them closer to my team. And I'm also going to keep an eye on that BB-238 up top because I want to do over from earlier in the video. So I'm working um, actively on the Soviet and uh, German lines primarily. Look at that Spitfire go. He had him dead to rights already at that point. I whipped another shot anyway. Uh, I'm going to follow the Corsair down and make him my next target. I know the Spitfire's got my six at this point in the match. I trust him to do that. And we're just going to burn this guy down. So um, those are the two lines I actively work on. So that's what you'll see me fly in most often and most often down here at, I guess, what would be considered low tier, tier in War Thunder, but really sort of mid to high tier. Um, I guess more mid tier, period two, early period three aircraft and warplanes. This is the time period that I enjoy the most. Don't have a lot of interest in air-to-air -air missiles or uh, that sort of thing. So um, if I do climb up <laughs> that high, it would probably be for bombers and not for any air-to-air -air stuff. You can see I chopped off a few pieces there, and this has limited his ability to turn with me. And so we're going to be able to pull inside of him 
again on this pass. And unfortunately, he straightens out, right? Just kind of stops turning and just buzzes by. My teammate's on him again, but um, we get the kill there as well. So the battle is definitely in our favor. You can see the tickets up there. You know, uh, we've each captured one airfield, but those tickets go down as well on the kills. And so as a result of that, you see me. No, nah, I'm going to. Oh, that's bad. I thought I had him. I figured the cannons would be an easy lock on that, especially against the P-36, but unfortunately it was not there. So again, some rust on my part. Probably should not have taken that head on. Definitely should not have taken that head on. So, but again, we're up on tickets. We're doing well. And uh, my partner and I together have nine kills between us, which is pretty awesome. So I bring out the LA-5 FN for the next one and for what will be the uh, final one of the day. Uh, in this video at least and of this match and I see that BVP BV238 up there it just is calling my name um, it's such a big fat target and I like the challenge of trying to aim to take them down really the best way to handle those big planes like that is not to shoot at the body they just absorb all sorts of hits especially um, with the cannons on the LA-5 and so I, I you know the goal is to actually look for the crosshair and then target off to the left or right of it so that your shells are going into the wings. Uh, that really tends to be the place where you can do the most damage on these uh, big, big bombers like this that have a whole lot of soak power for damage, uh, especially when you're dealing with the Russian planes, which I don't feel like have as good an ammunition as some of the um, German planes do with their uh, special... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Somebody who's a good historian can probably put that in the chat below. Uh, the name of that special high explosive round that the Germans used during World War II. So I'm going to take a few pot shots. I know those rear gunners are about to open up and sure enough they come spraying in. Reminds you a little bit of that sequence in The Expanse if you've ever seen that. All those shells coming out uh, in arcs. Uh, but I know as long as I keep moving, stay one step ahead of him, we'll be fine. And you can see me shooting a little off to the left and right. Um, and uh, fortunately right there I managed to clip his tail so I guess my aim is pretty bad but we're spraying again and we're just gonna keep rolling I took one hit to the wingtip it's not too bad though and I want to get underneath him here I want to make those shots a little harder on the deflection and um, I also want to have the broad side of his wing when I'm shooting at it ah there we go that's where the rudder fell off no, or the excuse me not the rudder the um, elevators there in the back and he puts a few into the front of my engine so you can see the yellow and red taking some damage there fortunately the armored cowling saves me and uh, i'm able to continue to maneuver and work just fine but he's starting to struggle a little bit to stay in the air so we're going to dive down pick up some speed and then shark up from the bottom and finish him off Again, just doing some active maneuvering. You're gonna have to do this on anything with decent armament, you know, US bombers and uh, this BVP and ones like that. Another shark. I'm going for the wing, as you can see, and chop it off. And that's really what you wanna do. So at this point, roll out, head back to the base, but we're almost out of tickets anyway. And there goes the seventh kill. So that's it for this match, which we won handily. Definitely enjoyed the firepower there uh, in these <laughs> these planes, and uh, it was a fun match, and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. So now that I've figured out the recording thing, I'll do some live gameplay as well, or at least games not using the replay system. Um, but I did want to show you guys this and uh, let you know that I do have it up and running as a bonus video this week. This doesn't really change composition of the channel. Uh, I primarily play Warplanes, but... I do enjoy War Thunder. I may do some videos from time to time on that, particularly if it's something you guys enjoy. Um, and especially if there are planes I can fly that I can't fly in warplanes, just to give you a little different perspective. Um, and also, I do play ground battles. I enjoy realistic and ground battles, though. So that's generally where I'm at on that one. And who knows, we may pop one of those up in the channel in the future as well. So there's your bonus video for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more, let me know below. If you hate War Thunder and never want to see another video again, let me know that as well. And uh, of course, I appreciate every like and subscribe um, and hope you enjoy the content. If there's anything I can be playing for you or any videos you'd like to see, please let me know and I will catch you on the next one. Until then, good luck and good hunting.